So the green curry, our first dish today. In Thai, we call it gang kiao wan. Green curry, the word green from the green curry, it comes from the color of the curry that made from the green chilies. And today, the two main things that we use to prepare our chicken green curry is this one right here. Maploy green curry paste. And the second one, shao got coconut milk. For the meat part, chicken seems to be one of the most popular choice that goes well with green curry. But sometimes for many people, including me myself, we choose something else like beef, it can go well with pork, and sometimes the seafood as well. So now, let's get started. First of all, we're gonna heat the oil and the pan right here. And while we're waiting for the pan to be heated up, you take this, the green chili paste, it's a maploy green curry paste. Just cut it open up, and then we put this into the pan. We have to cook it for a while because for the, say like the herbs and the chili, if you didn't cook it so well, the taste is gonna be bland and it didn't really come to the aroma point. And by using Maploy green curry paste, it's gonna be so convenient and time-saving for you. And also, it also gives the um, real authentic flavor of green curry as well. And see, now the curry paste starts sizzling up. It's the fragrance, the aroma coming up. This time, you wait for a while, you go to your chow got coconut milk right here, shake it up. And then, you pour it in the cup for say like just one cup. After that, you put it into the pan. Stir it well and cook it together with the curry paste. And now after it all mixed up and boil up already, lower the heat a little bit. Just put the chicken into the curry that we cooked up already. Turn the heat up and cook until the chicken is well cooked. Oh, smells so good. And now after we wait for the chicken to be almost cooked, we put this right in, the apple eggplant. And then the pea eggplant, just put it right in there as well. And now we just cook everything all together. And while we're waiting for all of the stuff that we put in to be cooked, we come to the coconut milk that we have left. The reason why we mix some water with the coconut milk that we have in the can is because we would like to make it to be light coconut milk. After we mix it, put it into the pan as well. And in order to bring out the more fragrance and more aroma of the curry, I have some other special ingredient right here. One is the kaffir lime leaf. And the reason why we peel it out and leave the stem out, by peeling it out like that, it's gonna bring out the aroma of this kaffir lime leaf. So good. See? And then, followed by this, the red chili and the green chili, chop up. So traditionally for the Thai green curry, we usually put the apple eggplant or the pea eggplants with that. But don't worry, <laughs> in case that you live in the area that you couldn't really find these two eggplants, fine, just go to your local supermarket, find any kind of eggplants that you could find there, or you could choose something else. For example, you could go with green peas, snow peas, some bell peppers, some of, let's say, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, or you can go with this one as well, chow got bamboo shoot. And now our curry start boiling up already. We just come to the last part of it before we getting ready to eat it. It's this thing, seasoning. As I mentioned earlier, we use palm sugar. Put it in there and some fish sauce. Mix it up a little bit, just stir it around. And then we just turn off the heat. The last part, the garnishing. Just put them all in. It's gonna bring up the fragrance and aroma even more. And now, after you put in the sweet basil, lightly stir it. Okay, it's ready. Ta-da! The Thai chicken green curry. Ready to eat right here.